guys, this episode we're talking about Cable Ready, which is the underlying tool that powers Stimulus Reflex. I know a lot of you guys were super excited to see what you can do with Stimulus Reflex. And one of the things that I wanna point out here is that all of this is powered by these lower level tools. So Cable Ready allows you to broadcast out HTML operations from the Rails server, which is really interesting. So what happens with this is it is the tool that broadcasts the DOM diffs to uh, be run on the client side. So Stimulus Reflex will tell it to refresh the page, generate the HTML, and it will give it to Cable Ready to tell the browser, hey, go and replace the DOM with this new version. And it will go and figure out what it needs to change. So Cable Ready gives you a bunch of operations that you can call from the server side. You can dispatch events on the client. You can morph the HTML, which is what Stimulus Reflex uses. You can swap out the inner HTML of an element, the outer HTML, you can insert adjacent HTML or text, and you can add and remove attributes, CSS classes, styles, and values and data set stuff. So this gives you all of these tools that you would probably be writing in your JavaScript by hand, and you would be defining a JSON object that you have to look into and decide what to do with it. This allows you to move that to the server and let the server decide what to do, which is interesting. So you can write less JavaScript and broadcast those changes out um, yourself using Cable Ready. So to use Cable Ready, all you have to do is run bundle add cable underscore ready and then yarn add cable underscore ready. That's gonna be the server side Ruby code and the JavaScript client side code that you'll need to do this. Now, to set up your JavaScript for this, it's pretty straightforward. You'll generate a action cable channel and you will import cable ready from the cable ready JavaScript library. And then whenever you receive data on your channel, you'll simply check to see if it is a data.cable ready um, object that comes over. And that just needs to be passed into the cable ready.perform method and you pass in data.operations. So this is going to tell Cable Ready to perform those operations. It can send over multiple operations at once. So it's just an array of objects that represent the morph, the inner HTML, and all those other commands that you can pass over from the server. Now we'll need a model that we can use to uh, interact with on the server side so that we can update the changes in the browser automatically with Cable Ready. So I've generated this scaffold here with cards and we simply have a title and a description and I've replaced the table with rendering partials. This is gonna help us uh, actually identify which card to update on the page. So by doing that, we now have a cards card.html file and the important thing I wanna point out is that we have a specific ID for this card so that we can select that using Cable Ready on the server side and match this so that we know which card to update on the page. The DOM ID helper here is going to make that very easy to find an individual card. DOM ID generates an ID like card 1234 with the database ID being 1234 and card is the class name underscored and it just generates that um, for you. So we'll be using that on our card. So the next piece is we need a action cable channel to broadcast to. So you're gonna need to generate an action cable channel. It's pretty simple. I've got one here, but you can run rails generate channel card and it will generate a file just like this one. Now we need to actually stream from some sort of channel and we need to give it a name. So we'll call ours cards, for example. And then this is going to be the same string that we will broadcast to with Cable Ready. So the last piece of the puzzle is that we actually need to broadcast an operation. So let's use an example of updating a card. We can add a callback for after update to our card model, and we can make our Cable Ready broadcast in here. So anywhere in your Rails code that you would like to broadcast, you can say include Cable Ready Broadcaster. This is gonna give you access to the Cable Ready method and you can use the square brackets to tell it a channel name. So ours was cards and you'll note that this matches the stream from that we have here. 
So that is the exact same thing that you want to have in both places there. And you can call one of the methods. So if we want to update this and morph that um, element on the page to the new version, we simply need a selector to match that ID. So we will use the hash symbol, which represents an ID, and then we can call action view record identifier dot DOM ID. We'll pass in self. Self represents the card that just got updated, and action view record identifier DOM ID is the exact same uh, DOM ID that we used here in the partial right here, except in our view we have access to that automatically and the helpers included, but in our models it is not. So we need to reference this directly. And this is basically just uh, defining what the browser will do. It will call document.querySelector, and if you spell it right, of course, and it will pass in this value that you define as a selector. So it knows what to update on the page. That's really all there is to that. Nothing fancy. You just want to make sure your HTML has the element and you make sure you generate the exact same ID for those. Then the other option for morphing is you need to render some HTML and send that over the wire. So for us, we're going to go to application controller. We'll call the render method and we'll tell it to render self, which is a card which will trigger rendering the exact same partial. And so it will render this, send it over the wire, find the same element, and it will update it. So this will be done automatically for us. Um, but this is really only going to queue up the morph uh, command. It's not going to broadcast it. So in order to really broadcast it, we have to call dot broadcast. So you can queue up a bunch of these operations that you would like to run and then broadcast them all at once. So with that all set up correctly, if we have a card on our page and we reload our JavaScript so that we have all the latest JavaScript, we can open up the Rails console and we can update this title of the last card, which is the only card we've got, to Hello World 2. And if you watch on the left side, it is immediately updated to Hello World 2. So what is happening is basically we use active record callbacks to trigger the update. Cable Ready will render um, and take the rendered HTML for this new version, send it over the wire with Action Cable. Cable Ready will then, in our browser, see that operation and apply it to the page. And in this case, it was just diffing and updating a element on the page, and we're done. But we can do all kinds of other things, and if you want to play with this, you can always call Cable Ready Broadcaster inside of your terminal even, and you can grab the cable ready um, cam command and examples here and drop them in. So if we wanted to do something like take the uh, style of this element, we could say selector card, and if we want to inspect this so we know the database ID for this, um, card number one. So card one, we can set the name of background style. We'll set the value of that to red. By doing that, we should broadcast a change over the wire to change that over. Um, but we have to, of course, call cable ready dot broadcast in order to do that. So that will go and change our uh, background color to red, which is super awesome. So we are able to send over very small chunks of HTML or operations to the browser from the server side and just control all of that a lot cleaner than having to write a lot more JavaScript um, for each of these little examples or cases that we might have. So if you need to insert things into a list, you can do that with insert adjacent HTML. Um, you can do any of these operations that they've got, and they'll probably be adding more in the future. But these cover probably the gamut of things you will normally need. And this is all that um, is being done to power stimulus reflex. It's calling a morph across the entire page. But when you need to fine tune your operations, you'll really be dropping into cable ready a lot more often to do these individual changes. So this is just such a cool thing that we can use all over the place. So if we were to you know, add a new one here, 
we can see that going back here, we can run these two commands again, and it will only update that card number one to the correct one because our IDs and selectors match, and it doesn't update all of them, and we can just choose specific things. Plus, the selectors will apply to whatever page the user's looking at. So they might be subscribed to this channel, but this is not actually going to affect their page if they were looking at a different page. So if you were on the home page or something and the broadcast came across, it's not going to do anything on the page because it can't find that selector. So it's not going to affect the user at all and uh, it's not going to affect the ex experience. So this is perfect if you want to broadcast changes from like an import and tell the progress in the browser in real time exactly how many records are left. You can do this really easily as long as you have a matching ID on both of those in the background job and on the client, you know, an import ID or something, you'll be able to show the exact progress in real time um, using Cable Ready. So this is a very, very underlooked tool, and I think it might even be more useful than Stimulus Reflex itself. Maybe not as impressive, but I think this will come into play and be used all over my applications, especially things that are more real time, like the Hatchbox uh, action. So you're creating a server and we're trying to broadcast an update of the status of the server and those sorts of things. We can do that very easily with Cable Ready and reliably, which is really nice. So that is it for this episode. We'll be talking about this more because I would like to rebuild our Trello clone series using Stimulus Reflex and Cable Ready to make that possible. So I'm really excited for that and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.